we're on the couch next to each other i can see her she's got she's got terrible eyes so when she's on her phone she has to be this close to her phone mm -hmm. and then when i look at her seeing her do it she goes yeah like, Cl a, like clutches a the phone yeah. like yeah, a kid yeah, who's yeah. been caught and i'm just like Babe, were you looking at the were you looking at the pot? And she's like, No, 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 I was looking at something else. Can't even Lies. come up with a lie. Lies. Can't even come up with a lie. I, I was, was looking, looking at, at something, something else. else. Hello, and welcome to RT Cares, the segment where we take your really, really good questions and turn them into insanely dumb answers. Let's get into it. Hello, Armando, Drew, and Sniff. I guess that's me. Every time my wife is going to read a book or watch a movie, she will go on the internet and read the entire plot before watching the movie or reading. She does this with all content. How do I tell her this is objectively the wrong way to digest media? <laughs> so, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I love just like, how can I tell? I cannot tell this lady she is enjoying I, I stuff tell, wrong. I, I tell this dumb broad how to, <laughs> yeah. to take in media and content. Listen, you can say it. I <laughs> and we can't. Yeah. Um, what a okay. First of all. I, I I agree. Here's the thing. I agree that's insane behavior, but also who fucking cares? Like I I, I come down on I come down me personally come down two sides of it. Like if my partner was doing that, like I need to know everything about like the movie I'm about to watch or the series or whatever it is. Like I need to like know so nothing is surprising to me. I'm not like I don't get a jump scare. I don't get anything. Mm -hmm. I need to know like every plot point. I'd be like, yeah, I I. I don't want to know that. Literally don't tell me anything about it. I like that's not how I want to consume my media. But like I also don't like wouldn't prescribe. I wouldn't be like this is over. Mm -hmm. Like I I wouldn't enter that's not a relationship ending like cat catastrophe in my Now mind. Andrew's tapped into something essential here. <laughs> is that it is? I'm about to I, I, oh gosh, I, can, I can feel myself going under the bus. I can feel the shadow of the bus looming over me. Yeah. <laughs> is that it is uh absolutely insane behavior and you should be worried. Yeah. Uh because this is <laughs> This is the beginning stages of somebody who wants to describe themselves as a fortune teller, psychic, or medium. <laughs> this, is, sure, yeah. this is and this is how they practice. Mm. Um, it's absolutely insane behavior, and they should be locked up. For, no, I'm just kidding. That's <laughs> committed. Awful. Yeah. Um, I okay. I'm gonna say something that's gonna make you both kind of hate me, especially mm -hmm. because I feel like griff is on the other side of hate, <laughs> like of hating this you're mm. on the medium side of yeah. thinking like eh, it sucks but it's, it's fine what yeah. are you gonna do i understand it from the aspect of like okay sometimes you know what perfect example recently i have been watching the oceans movies okay oceans 11 yeah. oceans 12 yeah. oceans 8 yeah. ocean 69 the sex parody yeah nice um that's when you find out that the person eating you out was in on it all along. <laughs> yeah yeah um i've been watching the oceans movies and uh something that the director does steve what is it steve soderberg steve, steven soderberg oh my god i can't pronounce the steven name steven soderberg yeah well that name yeah uh that they do in their heist as opposed to like a um as opposed to like a, an italian job where the italian job everything goes wrong and they adapt mm -hmm. oceans heist and all of those movies like lucky logan etc they have this this element where they are actively hiding information from you as the audience yes. yeah. uh, that they then reveal later. And there's a lot of movies that have this. It's one of the elements of a plot twist. I would argue not a great element of yeah. every, it, it can be. It's, it's not a twist. It's a lie. Yeah. Cause you, you're withholding information. There's really good ways of doing this where like, man, fuck, I, there is going to be, I'm going to drop two spoilers for <laughs> movies that you should have probably already seen or already know the fucking statute of limitations yeah. Yeah. over on these things. Fight club. Okay. Yep. Has a plot twist in which, uh, they hide information from you or sort of lie about it, but they do it in a way that makes sense when you go back and watch the rest of the mm -hmm. movie. Um, the the village or really most <laughs> and the Shyamalan yeah. movies actively lie to you yeah. or hide information in a way that when you go back and watch it and i'll be honest even a lot of the oceans movies do this too where you go back and you watch it and you go 
Well, what the fuck well, does it even fuck mean? You. There's no yeah. way to possibly know that. Oh, yeah. so everyone was fucking in on it. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So then the stakes that I felt were important earlier in the movie are meaningless. They yeah. don't fucking matter. Yeah. I I I will sometimes it is nice to know what to generally look for in a movie so that when I'm watching it, I can see things get set up. Now, I will agree with you. It's an insane way to watch a movie for the first time. <laughs> I do like to watch a movie for the first time and then rewatch it yeah. knowing how it sure, ended so sure, that you do that. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't know. I think there is a little bit of value of knowing about something that's happening so that you can sort of watch for it coming i guess sure i i see i see a little bit of merit in there okay. you are fuming off to the side mm. here you want to say yeah. something no today we've talked about my partner's body uh-huh i want to talk about her mind for a second <laughs> I she like a like, the mind like a great big boob in the yeah, head yeah 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 mind yeah the, tits. Me, the mental the mental <laughs> yeah. tit uh, I it is it's hard for me uh -huh. to be lenient uh, I, I with really nice. it's hard for me to yeah. be lenient with this with this with this writer's uh with our with with this person's uh wife because. <laughs> Uh, and they are married. Congrats, by the way. It's too late. Mazel. If you knew this before, you locked no. it down. You're truly in love. No. Because I just, I love, I love my partner. I love her so much. I, she does. It's just, I'm assuming when his wife does it, maybe she does it like openly. She does it like, like, oh, we're gonna watch this movie, and I'm on she's the couch, like, and I'm like, covertly she's gonna, looking like, at the Wikipedia page on her phone. That, that's how my girlfriend does it, and <clears> it <throat> infuriates me because I know she's doing it. We're sitting next to each other. We're on the bed next to each other. We're on the couch next to each other. I can see her. She's got, she's got terrible eyes. So when she's on her phone, she has to be this close to her phone. Mm -hmm. And then when I look at her, seeing her do it, she goes, "Yeah, like, Cl a, like clutches a kid. the phone, yeah, like yeah, a kid yeah, who's yeah. been caught." And I'm just like, "Babe, were you looking at the, were you looking at the plot?" And she's like, "No, no, no. I was looking at something else. Can't even Lies. come up with a lie. Lies. Can't even come up with a lie. I, I was, was looking, looking at, at something, something else. else. And then I'll be like, okay." <laughs> And then I'll look at her and she'll be looking at the movie and then she'll, and then something will happen and she'll give like an insight that tells me she's already read the entire yes. plot. And I'm like, oh no, you've already read the, you've read the entire plot because you're trying to say something like you're setting up for something that we have no idea is happening right yes. now. Like that, I, mm, and it's, and it's one thing where it's like some, some, most of the time I'll be like, whatever, I don't care. This is how you enjoy media, I guess. I guess you don't like whimsy. I guess you don't like things to just happen to you in life. It's everything, I'm the one who's uptight and has to plan everything, but no, you can't just enjoy a piece of media straight. I'm, I'm, I just feel like sometimes if I, I don't know, say like, hey, maybe this time don't, like if it's like, I don't know a limited eight episode series on netflix that's only going to be eight episodes and has no follow-up and it's a mystery show that we want to watch together maybe don't go in and read the plot three episodes down the line because uh, okay. you want to be because you want to experience because i want to experience it in real time together yeah. and you're already at the end of the series so, you're already looking at the wikipedia pages of actors to see what else they're in uh, okay. like so anyway first of all but it's nothing is funnier than no, I was looking, looking at, at something, something else. else. <laughs> Just like the 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 I mean truly like child brain. Like yeah. no, literally like, like fucking no, chocolate at, on the face. No, no. literally. No, Did like, you eat the chocolate? No. no. Kool-Aid ring around the mouth. Oh, no. Yes. Something else. Really quick. Um, the two things that I want to point out, knowing Griff's girlfriend, is that uh you mentioned the bad eyesight and the big fucking glasses. Yeah. I've seen your girlfriend look at stuff on her phone and you can read, read what's happening, happening. Yeah. on the glasses. Yeah. Two, uh, is that there's no way that it's at all subtle because again, knowing your girlfriend, she's reading the plot going, Oh wow. No, literally. Oh, wow. Literally. Oh. Or or, or she'll, little oh. gasps. Or she'll do this thing <gasps> where like we'll watch something and we'll be like two episodes in. And then by the time we're watching the third episode, she's like on Tumblr, like looking for fan art. And I'm like, you're gonna get spoilers. Are you looking at spoilers? And she's like, I'm not looking at spoilers. I'm like, you're gonna get spoiled. You're looking at fan art for a TV show that we've never seen that came out eight months ago you're gonna get spoiled stop it that's so the, the like tiny gasps the yeah. like oh like again here's the thing that well, yes. well, yeah that <laughs> yeah it's the <gasps> yeah yeah For, like again like as it's long not as, shock it's recognition yeah, yeah as long as i don't see it and all that stuff he's like but to, to like 
to the the audible gasps, the like reactions to reading ahead in something that is unhinged behavior. Greg. Yeah, that is like can, yeah. Can I ask you? Does does she do the thing where like? Okay, it doesn't make sense in the moment, but like right before some big plot point happens, she keeps like looking over. Yes! It no! Yes! Yes! She'll look directly at me. She won't even be watching the show. She'll be looking for my reaction because she already knows something. It's like, it's like, again, it's been 10 years, whatever. It's like if you're watching Game of Thrones and the red wedding scene is about to happen and your friend's just going, ah. Just like. Yeah, once again, like, you're just trying to. What are you? What are you doing? Just what are you? What are you doing? Just like watch looking, the show. Look like looking at you with like starry, glassy eyes, yes. just like waiting for your action. That's so funny. But it reminds me of a story, and it's tangentially related to this. Tangentially, tangentially related to this, but it's so funny. Steve Sardenberg. Steve Sardenberg. Steve Sardenberg. So, um, my a couple of my friends in high school saw a sneak preview, a sneak preview of the film Contact with Jodie Foster. Mm -hmm. Now that movie is has like kind of twists in it kind of spoilers in it mm -hmm. but they so, so they so they they went to see a sneak preview of contact and then the movie came out mm -hmm. in wide release and a guy that they saw that was sitting a row in front of them at the sneak preview was also at like opening night of the movie <laughs> and was like loudly like Qu guessing like loudly talking about like <laughs> it's prime numbers it's prime like having oh my, my like, god what, what he god. wanted to get an a in watching the fucking movie like like what? one of the most like pathetic like Im like if i had seen if that guy had recognized me for, if i was doing that and i recognized the person like a person from the sneak preview and they knew that i had already seen the movie it's so, like i would like cease to be i would just evaporate with embarrassment like to like <laughs> Yeah. I mean, just I would, it's out of existence. That's, That's like the saddest shit. The oh fuck, it's so embarrassing. My God, I once got, get an A in watching the movie. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. I once got to call out one of my friends for. Uh, I realized <clears throat> that sometimes they would share their Wordle answer. You guys remember Wordle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That game that everyone was obsessed with for like a couple of weeks, yeah. and then it, and then <laughs> the writers went on strike, and we uh, the like the newspaper yeah. Yeah. went on strike, and then we stopped playing it. Mm -hmm. um, I had a friend who would uh, who would share screenshots of like getting their answer right, and we realized uh, in like a group chat that we had, we, we realized that sometimes the answers would come from like a regular Safari window. And sometimes they would come from private tabs, almost as if they did it again, again to get a better score. That, for uh, who? The point for of who? That's what I'm saying. To impress who? That's what I'm saying. To get into whose pants? <laughs> mine <laughs> and it worked because i was like wow you know you know words so good <laughs> yeah it's the same thing where it's like who the fuck are you doing this for my god what who ever is going to be impressed that you guess that because even if you're right even if you're wrong it doesn't matter yeah. you're talking during a movie you're talking yeah you piece of up. shit yeah. like in your mind was it like just, i'm gonna like call my shot and like oh those are all prime numbers Two ladies, like four seats down, and be like, yeah. we gotta fuck that guy. Yeah. And those four he... seats, prime numbers. Prime numbers. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna be so aroused by my media literacy. Can I can I tell you guys about a thing that I do Please. that's kind of fucked up, what? but very similar to this? Um, I watch a lot of movies. Yeah. I watch yeah. so many movies, I watch so much television. Um, and my partner is one of those people who did not grow up watching any television. Sure. Okay. And uh constantly doesn't watch movies oh. either. Yeah um doesn't not that they don't enjoy them yeah. just didn't just do it didn't, yeah. so i get to be the shitty partner that shows them goodfellas yeah and yeah. uh all of these like real cinema boyfriend yeah. ass movies all these boyfriend yeah. poster movies exactly yeah the ones that you have next to the bob marley blacklight poster <laughs> yeah and the kiss with, with push pins yeah. not framed oh, and please, please i one of the things that like i really enjoy is getting to experience these pieces of media that i love so much through the eyes of somebody that's never seen them before mm -hmm. sure. sometimes when i sense that they're getting too comfortable watching something like a horror movie or like they're not in the suspense that i had i will do um 
reverse jump scares is what I call it, where like when there's a really tense moment and I know this character is gonna get out just fine and we're watching it, I will subtly like, while we're holding hands like tense squeeze. up yeah, and yeah, just yeah. like act like, oh no, 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 no. Like I won't say anything, I yeah, won't look sure, at them, sure, sure, sure. but I'll make little subtle movements like uh -huh. something really, and then they get like, oh, what the fuck? Uh -huh. What's yeah. gonna happen? And then everything's fine. Oh, <laughs> so you're like gaslighting. Yeah, yeah. it's got so a little like, bit, some subtle, gentle gaslighting. Some subtle, it's the yeah. 4D experience yeah. where you gaslight them partner, yeah. into being more immersed <laughs> in that. <laughs> To paying is, more attention yeah. yeah which again it's <laughs> fucked up but it also is something that we think is funny and now we do sort of as like a meme between the two that's of cute. us um <laughs> and it's, it's my own personal gaslighting d-box yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. i think it's really funny yeah. it's just it's goofy as hell um we haven't we have not uh given any advice but i will say that i think that a good reason why this happens is some people some people like to know what's going to happen. Some yeah. people hate. I mean, honestly, some people fucking hate surprises and they Truly. hate experiencing things genuinely. Mm -hmm. It's the same reason why, like, I play video games so that I can role play as this person. Mm -hmm. And uh, I make decisions based off of at least the first time around when I'm playing a game. Mm -hmm. I make decisions based off of what I think I would do if I was in that position or whatever That's character sure. that I'm playing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have friends that play all missions uh with a game guide oh they will they will watch it during a stealth mission they'll watch mm -hmm. people stealth through yeah so that they she can, does that too yeah so that they can have the perfect <laughs> playthrough yeah. yeah or the quote-unquote perfect playthrough yeah i fucking hate that because it's like yeah maybe i'll fuck up the stealth mission but now i gotta go in guns blazing and yeah. it feels more real feels good it yeah. feels like there's fucking stakes when i'm sure yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 i enjoy that i get why some people don't i get why some people want to have the like perfect scripted experience mm. or, or figure out what's going on I don't love that, but I get why people do it. I think uh, if you're looking for a solution, I have the perfect one, and it's sort of a variation of the thing that I already do to my partner. So what you're going to do is before you tell them what movie you're going to watch, you edit the Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> the plot and change it to a bunch of shit that's like all wrong, wrong. that that's is funny. so good the yeah, only you know thing... HTML. <laughs> yeah exactly yeah if you can't if you can't just inspect element and change it on their on their site uh and i think it would be funnier is if you did it consistently like you just use the plot of Ocean's Eleven, <laughs> every but, time, but every time the, the names. characters' names to the <laughs> Rick. That is so, so then good. Ahab goes, uh, played by George Clooney. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. to, uh, <laughs> yeah, you don't change the actors. actors. <laughs> yeah. So they're watching the movie, going like, "That's George Clooney? Clooney. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus! What a transformation! He's gonna get an Oscar for yeah, this. He looks exactly like Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> so I don't get it. When do? When does Napoleon reveal that he's been in on it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. So that's good advice. I, you know what? I don't have any of it. That's mine. <laughs> that's... Edit the Wikipedia page immediately before watching. Yeah. Uh, those Either, things, before I mean, it can get corrected. The genuine one is, uh, the genuine advice is like, explain that, you know, you want to experience this thing together. Mm -hmm. um, and like, maybe start it slow. Like, hey, this is one of my favorite movies. This is one of my favorite shows. Or, hey, I'm really excited about this movie this show is there any way that we can go into it without checking the plot because i want to experience it with you i want to go through yeah, this experience shared, with you. yeah 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 um but the real advice is to fucking gaslight your partner and make them not trust you and anything that you have to say by changing the wikipedia pages to to be the plot of oceans 11 yeah. correct and yeah. that's i think that helps i think that's just what you have to do yeah. i think that's yeah. what you got to do so uh yeah yeah, yeah. all right <laughs> Case closed. I, uh, I <laughs> invite us to the divorce. Yes. <laughs> I, don't, I know that this is not a possibility, but I would love so much if the episode description for this was just a synopsis of Ocean's, Ocean's Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> but Can our you names, our names? Yeah. <laughs> Armando, played by George Clooney. Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Sorry, I'm just uh, about to watch Pearl Harbor. I need to know how that ends. If you're one of these kind of people who has to know absolutely everything about a piece of media you consume before you watch it, uh, you're not like me. I don't do that. But uh, we really appreciate you watching this video. If you liked it, 
like and subscribe to this channel, but also if you want to support us so we can keep making our silly, silly things, uh, go to roosterteeth.com and watch our stuff on our site. Uh, that helps us out the most. And if you really want to help us, become a first member. That's like the absolute best way to help us uh, make the stuff that we like to make and that you like to watch. And yeah, we also have a bunch of stuff coming up soon, uh, a bunch of like Discord events, um, some RTTV live streams, and little like little special treats here and there. Uh, for you guys so uh, stay tuned to the uh, rt socials and you can uh, learn about that as they as they come but uh yeah thanks for watching i'll see you soon oh it exploded <laughs>